All right, music fans, welcome back. It's Dave, the Real Music Observer, observing real music in real time for real people just like you right there and me here. Okay, so uh, interesting development yesterday. Uh, Jeff Coffey on his Facebook page announced that he's going to be teaming up with Don Felder uh, and two guys who I've actually talked a lot about on this channel. So it's kind of interesting. Somebody sent me a message saying, do these guys watch you? <laughs> like, I don't know if they watch me. Uh, but it's interesting because I've said, look, Don, can I call you Don? Don Felder. I'm a big Felder fan. I just, at times, I think he should sing less and play more. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if Jeff is actually going to sing in this group. I know he's playing bass for sure. Uh, but I think it brings a little bit more gravitas to the to situation uh, for Felder. Uh, Coffee, too, uh, really, by doing this, sort of indicates that, hey, maybe it wasn't just scheduling, although he went on to talk about family life balance and, you know, things of that nature. And that's been the narrative. Um, I'm just letting folks know that I think uh, something else was at work, both uh, himself and... Uh, Tris Imboden left Chicago uh, at the same time, uh, not sure if it was the same issue, uh, and, you know, Tris used the excuse that, hey, uh, his new wife, Mary, uh, he wanted to spend more time with her and so forth. Uh, eh, I don't know, he doesn't have any kids or anything, I don't think, right? That are, They must be all grown up if he's got them, whereas at least Jeff has some teenage kids in his life, so... Uh, but as far as this merger, I think it's a good move. I think it brings uh, both of these guys, their profile is raised here and uh, gives Don Felder the option of having uh, Jeff take vocals on anything that was sung by Don Henley, in my opinion, can probably be sung by Jeff Coffey, which uh, is cool. It's really cool, including Hotel California. Um, and, you know, I've heard Tommy Shaw sing Hotel California. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm tired of the whole sticks thing, and I'm going to be doing another video because the fallout from this interview, which is going to air on Access TV, and they let about five minutes of it out of the bag, and uh, some big stuff in that five minutes really shows uh, sticks uh, right now is, is kind of a, uh, a me first, fans last organization right now. I'm just throwing it out there in this video, but I'm really happy uh, for both of these guys, for both Felder and for Jeff Coffey. Uh, it's a good merger, and I would go see it. I know Jeff is uh, already talking about dates at Epcot coming up in May, where he will join the uh, Felder team, and Don Felder gets a little shot in the arm, and maybe he's been listening to me and thinks that uh, he needs to kind of shore up his band a little bit. Uh, good move, uh, really weird merger. You know, I always told Don Felder, the coolest guy you could have probably hooked up with uh, right after the whole Eagles debacle where they basically said you're fired and then lawsuits ensued. I think Felder should have called Rusty Young from Poco and said, hey, I want in on your band. Let's go out on tour. Let's do all of these Poco tunes uh, and maybe a couple of Eagles tracks. And I think that would have been awesome because it would have just said, hey, you know, this band that you've been borrowing from and stealing from the last, I don't know, 40 years, 50 years, uh, we're going to sort of give something back to those guys. But in any event, Felder and Coffee, good, good move. All right, I'm done. I'll be back with more real music soon. Stay tuned.